I want to explore something with you. I want to explore that place inside you where your heart races a little, but there's also some fear or discomfort that comes up. It's the place that comes up when you are considering buying a new piece of lingerie that mm, is a lot more risque than you're used to wearing. It's the same place that comes up when your lover suggests something new in the bedroom that you've never tried before. It's exciting, it's a little terrifying. Maybe you're setting up an online profile on a dating site and that's an edge for you. Or even maybe you're going to a wild sex party. I don't know what the edge is, but I want to explore it with you. Hi, I'm Sayida Desle, the author of The Emergence of the Sensual Woman, and I inspire women to live turned on lives from the inside out. And today's delicious tip is all about erotic edges. So what is an erotic edge? Let's actually define this thing. An erotic edge is something that turns you on, it's something you desire, but it also is the very thing that creates a little fear or discomfort in your body. So it's a place where your desire and turn on meets your fear and discomfort. So how do you find your erotic edge? What does it look like? It's anything that titillates you, excites you, creates desire, maybe a secret desire within you, anything in your body that turns you on, that would be considered an erotic edge if there's a slight sensation of discomfort or fear associated with that turn on. Now how you are with that is very important. So by first acknowledging, gosh, I think that's an erotic edge for me, is huge. So acknowledgement is the first step. The second step is literally leaning into that edge. You want to feel into it, what's going on there. You don't have to feel like you have to resolve it or figure it out. But you do want to allow yourself to experience that very place in your being that's both excited and a little uncomfortable. And then you want to relax. It's very important not to create more tension by forcing yourself into anything. So by relaxing into your erotic edge, it will help you explore it. And when you explore it, you want to use erotic innocence to help explore those edges. It's important to talk about erotic edges, especially in the realm of intimacy, because too much intimacy, too much sharing of the emotional realm can actually kill the eros in your relationship. So being able to enter into the unknown, into the mystery, and pay homage to the eros in your life is very important. And an erotic edge is where the most amount of energy can be found. What's really beautiful about erotic edges is that they're evolutionary edges. That means where you are right now, your particular edge is unique to you in this moment in your life. But if you think maybe five years ago, what was an erotic edge back then would be very different to what's happening now. And that can be true as well in the future. So erotic edges are not static, they're evolutionary. So this is where curiosity comes in and erotic innocence. We want to bring in our curious heart, our curious mind. A lot of us will belittle our own erotic edges or our partners. And so what happens when we do that is everything shuts down, everybody shuts down, and we actually kill the eros in the name of keeping things safe and comfortable. But if you want to feel passion and desire and aliveness through a lifetime of your relationship, or relationships I should say, since we're having many different types of relationships, then it's very important to keep that curious mind. So what I like to do is ask my partner well, what does that look like? What's happening? Who are you with? What does it feel like? And actually keep that really open, erotically innocent state as my partner reveals his erotic edge to me, or vice versa when I'm revealing my own erotic edge to him or even just to myself. And the last thing I want to say about erotic edges, and this is very, very important, has to do with the word shame. And when we shame ourselves, it means that there's innately something wrong with us. But here's the deal. We all have an erotic mind. It's natural. So practicing shamelessness in your exploration, in even just holding the space for your erotic edges, 
will allow you to blossom and grow more fully erotically. So here's what I'd love you to do because I always do little challenges with these delicious tips. I want you to name an erotic edge. So that's acknowledging it. I want you to lean into it. And leaning into it can look like either uh, just thinking about it, writing about it, recording your voice, or maybe even videoing yourself exploring an erotic edge. That's the edge for you. So that's the challenge. And then I'd love to hear about it. Now, I understand this is a public forum. You're probably very uncomfortable. But if you're one of the brave ones who would love to share, even not necessarily what your erotic edge is, but what happened when you named it and you leaned into it and you allowed yourself to even have permission to explore it, I would love to know what happened for you then. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and definitely subscribe as I have a lot more of these videos coming out. And I'd love to invite you to come back to SayedaDesolet.com. This is my website where there's a ton of articles, more videos, and invitations to special webinars and events. I would love to continue to support you and inspire you to live a turned-on life from the inside out. Go, go, go.